me to Auntie Beauty Queen and today's video is kind of a spring essentials slash May and June favorites video. I did film a May's favorite video and it's almost the end of June and really springtime is finally happening in Canada. So these are all the things that I've been using now that it's getting warmer and it's just getting like pretty and fresh outside. So I thought I would do kind of a two combo video for y'all. So hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and uh, enjoy. So for hair, I haven't really been changing anything up shampoo and conditioner wise, but I did chop it all off and I really did get rid of all the gross dead ends and I want to start fresh. So I stumble upon this and it's the Redken All Soft cream spray. This stuff is life changing. You spray it in your hand, you kind of run it through your hair as soon as you get out of the shower and it just makes your hair so soft looking and so healthy and clean and just beautiful and it was $20 so a little pricey but so worth it. I've been using it every day because even when I don't wash my hair that day. I still spray this on, brush it out, and honestly, like right now, I just have it in a bun, really, and it still looks so clean and so healthy. Moving on to body, this is also one of my favorite scents for the springtime. If you have watched my videos in the past, you know I always, 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 always contribute my body lotion, my body wash to the season. And spring is no different. I always want to smell like roses, a garden, anything that's blooming in the springtime because it's still hot enough that you know, you can smell like a tropical breeze if you want, but it's not hot enough that if your scents are pretty overpowering, you're not going to offend anybody if you sweat. So that is why I've been obsessed with this Gardenia and Fresh Rain body wash from Bath and Body Works. This stuff, I'm almost done it. I started it in the middle of May. I love it. It is the best smell I think I've ever smelled. And to be honest, it smells like those retro herbal essence shampoo and conditioners where it was like that really floral scent. It takes me back to like the seventh grade. I love it. I'm probably going to repurchase this just because I don't even think they sell this in a candle. If they do, please, for the love of all things holy, let me know in the comments below because I will for sure go out and buy that candle. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely recommend this for the springtime. For face, I have a lot of new products that I can't wait to share with you. And they have been products that range from a little pricey to drugstore, which one is like $3 and I swear by it. So the first thing that I've been obsessed with is my Becca highlighter. This is in the shade Moonstone. This highlighter is, honest to God, the most beautiful highlighter I've ever used. I've always used drugstore highlighters. I don't know why I never did the whole big splurge until recently, but I can't believe I've waited so long to do that because this stuff is, honest to God, life-changing. I always have a flat looking face. It's very round, but it's very flat if I don't give it any definition. I put this on my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, my chin, my whole body. I would bathe in this if I could. And everyone knows about Becca highlighters. Everyone has their own favorite shade. Mine is Moonstone. I will never, ever, ever buy anything else now that I have finally made the splurge to get this. Uh, pricey well worth it and I always use it with my Sephora little duster brush. This is number 65 and if you don't have, what is this even called? I just call it like the fluffer <laughs> because that's what it is. If you don't have a highlighter brush that's like this, highly recommend it. It just makes the highlighter go on so clean and it just makes it so that's so easy for new like newbies when it comes to makeup because this little guy does all the work for you and really it's just 
I feel like so royal using this. I don't know why, I just do. NYX has finally come mainstream in where I live in Canada and it's all over Shoppers Drug Marts. We never used to have it. I think it would be in Walmarts and stuff like that, but it's finally coming mainstream in our Shoppers Drug Marts, which if you are Canadian, that is basically like your CVS or your Walgreens. And this I have heard about... <sighs> The two things that I always hear about NYX is the NYX Chunky Jumbo White Liner Pencil and the NYX Finishing Sprays. So I used up all my Urban Decay, Decay Slick stuff, which I loved, but I didn't really want to go out and spend that much. I saw this for $10. I was like, okay, now is the time. This stuff is, dare I say, better than my Urban Decay D Slick Spray or whatever it's called. This was $10 and it does the trick. I've been going to a lot of like bachelorette parties, wedding showers, all my friends are getting married this summer and um, it's been getting really, really warm in Canada. And I put this on, my whole body sweats from like here down, but my face stays completely matte. It does not let my makeup run at all. I actually went into the pool and my full face of makeup was still staying strong after getting out of the pool. Uh, this is the matte finish. I know they have another kind. Out glossy <laughs> or am I just using photography terms but the matte one is so long lasting I don't have to reapply this and when it is really hot my lord spray this on your face you will get an instant boost in hydration and your face will thank you for it the cheapest thing in this pile has to be the essence all about matte powder oh my god if you do not know what Essence is, it is the best makeup brand for anybody who's on a budget. And the stuff is just good quality. I got this finishing powder for $3.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart. Our Shoppers Drug Marts carry all of the Essence uh, line. They always come out with like a new line catered to spring, summer, fall, winter, and it's always such good quality makeup. This is no exception. This stuff is a perfect under eye setting powder. It goes on really, really white, but when you let it bake into your skin and you brush it off, oh, it lets your skin look matte and no creases all day. It's beautiful. And I'm on a budget. I don't want to go and spend a thousand dollars on literally translucent powder for my face. Oh, you need to hunt down essence. It's going to change your life. All right, so for my favorite YouTuber for the month of May and June, it's one that's pretty popular here on YouTube, so you've probably heard of her, especially if you're vegan. She is Lauren Toyota, and she does the website Hot for Food here on YouTube. She has a blog with her boyfriend, and it's completely 100% vegan. Now, Lauren is actually kind of a Canadian treasurer because she was on MTV Canada for years. She was the one that would host the before and after show of Degrassi. So if you're Canadian, you probably have seen her on your TV screens at some point. And uh, she's just so down to earth. She and her boyfriend make such amazing food and it's not your typical vegan food. It is so bad for you, but so good for you that you probably wouldn't even be aware that you're eating vegan food. And um, I'm not a vegan, but I still love her recipes. They are so well done. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you watching her videos. And if you watch my videos for what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week, you'll love her what she eats on Wednesday videos. They are so popular and they're so well done. Half the time she eats like popcorn for dinner, but you can relate to her so much because she's not one of those standard vegan YouTubers who make these elaborate meals. She eats a lot of the same foods you do, 
only it's vegan. So highly recommend it. Check it out. I will post one of her videos down below so you can get to her very easily. But if you want to check out her blog, it is hot for food. All right, so that is it. That is what I've loved in May and in June and what I've been using for the springtime. If you have tried any of these products, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already and this is the first time you've been seeing my face, and you want to watch more videos, you can join the anti-movement by hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flippy flop. Bye. Bye.